Do subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSE and IIT JE main and advanced videos. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have studied about the uh, rules of the IUPC nomenclature and yes we have did the IUPC nomenclature for an alkynes also uh, while observing the structure, uh, structural formula and now we are going to do that is uh, the structural formula of the IUPC name that has been provided to us. So how can we do that? Let us see. So now we are going to uh, that is uh, draw the structural formula of the IUPC name that has been provided to us and uh, let us do that with the first one that is it is given as 3 ethyl hexa 1 comma 4 di in. So how can we uh, write the structure? The first thing is we have to observe that is uh, the parent alkyne. So in this case the parent alkyne is basically as we could see as the suffix is mentioned over here as hexa 1 comma 4 diene so in terms of alkane uh, it is nothing but hexane and hexane is the one which consists of basically six carbon atoms and that would be in a continuous long chain so therefore we could write it as these are the six carbon chain that i have uh, these are the six carbon atoms that i have uh, uh, mentioned in the chain form and uh, the thing is uh, we have to number it yes we could number it anyway because uh, uh, it, it depends on us so therefore this one will be the first second third fourth fifth and sixth so while observing this name that is this is the parent alkyne that we have and uh, observing the parent alkyne that we have got to know that uh, the position that is one comma four this is the number that gives the locate or that gives the number uh, where the double bond is being located at so we could see that the, uh, the number 1 and number 4 it represents the uh, uh, corresponding that is carbon carbon triple bond so therefore that is that is the carbon number 1 we could see carbon carbon triple bond at carbon number 1 and between carbon number 2 and after that we could see that carbon number 4 uh, is also having a carbon carbon triple bond and that is ending with carbon number 5 so therefore this is the carbon carbon triple bond that we have mentioned over here and uh, talking about there, is there any other groups that have been uh, associated with this parent chain? Yes, it is. That is 3-ethyl. So 3-ethyl is the one, uh, or we could say this 3 represents the position uh, of the ethyl group uh, where it has been attached on the parent um, carbon atom or uh, on the parent chain. So in this case, the, this is the third carbon atom and in the third carbon atom, ethyl group is been attached and ethyl group can be represented as C2H5. So in this case, we have represented the uh, position of the carbon carbon triple bond as well as we have also uh, mentioned uh, the uh, substituents that is uh, which is present at carbon number 3. But it has not been done yet because we have to fulfill the valency of the uh, carbon atom also. So all the valencies would be fulfilled by the hydrogen atom if we substitute in that manner. So therefore, as you could see over here, this carbon C has only one valency over here or it is forming only one bond. So because we know that carbon is the one that uh, forms at least four bond so therefore in this case it will form bond with three hydrogen atom talking about this carbon atom this carbon atom is fulfilled with its valency because making it to be having four bonds over here as this is the three bond and this is the one bond so making it total of four even this carbon is uh, also making a four carbon atom bonds so as you could see that is the bond r4 while talking about this carbon atom this carbon atom is consisting only of three bonds over here as you could see so as to fulfill the uh, Values of the carbon atom, one hydrogen will be over here. And talking about this carbon atom, again this carbon atom is fulfilled by its valency by forming four bonds. But this carbon atom is only forming three bonds. So therefore, to fulfill that, we have only one hydrogen. So this is the one that we have drawn the structure of the, uh, that is IPC name of an alkyl that was given to us, that is 3-ethyl hexa 1,4 diene. So therefore, this hexa, this A represents that this uh, more, uh, or multiple uh, carbon carbon triple bond are being present that is more than two two or more than two so this is what we have got to know so now this is how we can uh, mention it and now let us move on to the next one so this is the thing that we are going to uh, draw the structure of that is uh, uh, the IBC name of the alkyne is being given as 4 comma 5 comma 5 trimethyl hept 2 i so now uh, how to write or how to represent this structure so for that we have to mention uh, that what is basically uh, the parent alkyne or the parent uh, uh, chain where we could see uh, the total number of carbons in a straight chain according to the IPC rule so therefore we should always observe the suffix so therefore in this suffix it is basically 
hept to wine. So therefore, we could write it as because it consists of hept. Uh, the word hept is over here, so this is nothing but heptane in terms of when alkane. And heptane is the one which consists of seven carbon uh, atoms that are being um, arranged in a long chain. So therefore, we could write it as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven carbon atoms are being arranged uh, in this manner, and uh, the work is not done, even though we are, we are going to do that is numbering. So this is the uh, slightly longest chain and what we have decided and predicted that it will consist of basically 7 uh, carbon atoms uh, in a straight chain. And uh, talking about the position, so therefore we have to number it. So therefore this one will be the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. So this has been done and uh, the next thing that we have to do is, if we observe that is this number. This number is between the hept and ein, and the number is basically 2. This 2 represents the position of the carbon carbon triple bond or from where the uh, carbon carbon triple bond is originated and uh, and it ends and it will end with the carbon. So in this case it is 2 making that is the carbon carbon triple bond is present at carbon number 2 between carbon number 2 and carbon number 3 not carbon number 2 and carbon number 1. So it is always moving in a uh, direction where we have numbered it from where we have numbered it, that is from one end to another end. So therefore the carbon-carbon triple bond it's uh, between carbon number 2 and carbon number 3 as I have mentioned over here. So this is what we have did and uh, but the work is not done yet, we have to also fulfill the substituents or uh, uh, talking about the side chain. So in this case the position that I will mention over here or the side chains are basically methyl group and as you can see there are three methyl groups that is the reason trimethyl groups have been mentioned over here and where are the those methyl groups and even the position is also mentioned that is 4 comma 5 comma 5 so this is the fourth carbon atom that is on the fourth carbon atom a methyl group will be present so i would write over here as methyl group that is ch3 again on fifth position again there is a methyl group so i would write over here as ch3 and again five uh, methyl is also been present over here so i would write it here as ch3 so in this case basically I have mentioned that the three uh, substituents or the three uh, side chains that I'm, uh, I have attached in this case uh, forming a branch uh, alkyl and uh, talking about uh, everything is not been fulfilled except the hydrogen or we could say uh, the carbon valency. So therefore in this case the total number of carbon that has been uh, uh, the carbon that has been forming a bond is only one with one carbon atom but what about the three other valencies of the uh, carbon atom so yes so that will be fulfilled by the hydrogen so therefore this here will be ch3 in this case basically one carbon atom has been attached or is forming two bonds but uh, carbon has a tendency to form four bonds so therefore this could be written as ch2 talking about this carbon atom this carbon atom is already fulfilling its own all valency by forming four bonds and that is the thing we have don't have to uh, add any hydrogen in this case and talking about this carbon atom this carbon atom is forming three bond and uh, uh, one valency has been left out so that will be fulfilled by the hydrogen and okay about this carbon atom this carbon atom is fulfilled uh, is satisfied by its valency forming uh, four bonds over here even this carbon is forming four bonds over here but talking about this carbon atom this carbon atom is only forming only one bond so therefore the three valencies are being left out so therefore that will be fulfilled by hydrogen so this is the structure uh, of uh, the IPC that was provided to us and um, just let us cross check and let us see whether we are uh, 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 we have mentioned this in a right form or not. So suppose if we don't have the name and we have uh, suppose the structure and for which we have to decide what will be the IPC name. So the thing is we have to set the longest chain that consists of at least one carbon carbon triple bond and in that case suppose this one is the one that would be the longest chain and uh, the numbering will start from that end where we could get uh, the triple bond uh, very nearer to that end so therefore the numbering will start from here that is 1, 2, 3, 4 until 7 and uh, on this position we could see that uh, even the groups are been attached over here like methyl groups are been attached over here and those are attached on position number 4 uh, position number 5th and 5th uh, carbon atom making this to be called as 4, 5, 5 3 times methyl groups are been present so therefore it will be called as 3 methyl and the overall uh, straight chain or the parent chain consists of 7 carbon atoms making this called B heptane in terms of an alkane but uh, it is not in um, heptane it is in heptane the reason behind that is as we could see that is the carbon carbon triple bond and that carbon carbon triple bond is between carbon number 2 and carbon number 3 making this to be called as that is 4, 4, 4, 5, 5 trimethyl hept 2 i so this is how we have it so now uh, I hope you have uh, you are very much thorough to this kind of uh, 
uh, IPC structures and uh, that is structural formula. So now let us move on to the next one. So this is what we have to uh, mention the or we have to represent the structural formula of this name. So now we are going to draw the structure of uh, this IPC nomenclature that is compared to us for an uh, alkyl. So in this case, the first thing that we have to observe is the parent chain or the parent uh, uh, alkyl in this case or in terms of an alkyl also we could say that is the parent alkyl is basically in this case is uh, hexane making this to be called as basically it consists of six carbon atoms in terms of an alkane so that's what we would write over here as uh, six carbon atoms that is one two three four five six six carbon atoms are being mentioned over here and uh, the thing that we have to do is we have to mention the numbering also even that is very, very much important so therefore this one would be the first second third fourth fifth And this is the sixth one and talking okay, about the next one that is uh, we have to mention the carbon carbon triple bond or double bond that is been present in this name uh, so in this case as we could see that uh, it is an hexane and it is not an hex e9 so therefore uh, this one represents the carbon carbon triple bond the reason behind that is because one after uh, the one the y n is the uh, suffix that we uh, know so therefore this is the one that represents the position of the carbon carbon triple bond so therefore the position of the carbon carbon triple bond is between carbon number one and carbon number two so therefore we could write it over here as carbon carbon triple bond so is there anything uh, any other uh, multiple bond that has been required in this case no nothing is being required and uh, the thing that we have to mention over here is yes the groups are also been provided to us and those groups are basically methyl group and ethyl group but what is the position of methyl group means uh, in this case where we would uh, we uh, represent or where we should showcase that the methyl uh, is been present then in this case this three it represents the position of the methyl group that has been present so therefore at three we could write it over here as methyl group that is ch3 and talking okay, about uh, ethyl that is ethyl is at position number four or the on the fourth carbon atom so therefore this is the one where we could write c2h5 that is ethyl so the work is not done yet again as yes, we have to fulfill the valencies of the hydrogen atom so therefore uh, uh, this would be ch3 this would be ch2 this would be ch again this one would be ch no hydrogen is being required of this carbon atom uh, while this one will have only one H. So this is the structure of uh, uh, that is 4 ethyl 3 uh, methyl hex 1 ion. So suppose if we have uh, given because we are now uh, also will uh, check whether it is following the IUPC rules or not because uh, uh, even that case also we could be able to do the IUPC nomenclature for any structure as well as structure. Uh, which has been given to us and for that we can do the IPC nomenclature. So now uh, the thing is suppose if the name is not been given and we have to mention the IPC name for that. So how can we do? Yes, we have to select the longest chain that consists of at least one carbon carbon triple bond and we have to select the number in such a way that uh, the carbon carbon triple bond should get less number. So therefore this is the first carbon, second, third and so on. It, it reaches to six carbon atom and uh, talking about uh, in this case the main thing that is what i want to say here the four ethyl has been given uh, earlier and in spite of having that is we get uh, methyl first in terms of numbering so methyl is the one that we get and after that we get ethyl so that is the thing that we are not uh, writing the name in terms of the uh, groups that are uh, uh, that are being uh, on the uh, less position or, or are getting the less number we are mentioning the groups or we are mentioning the substituent based on their alphabetical order that is the reason in spite of here that is uh, on fourth position ethyl group is being present the reason that they have written it earlier is because ethyl starts with e while methyl starts with m and that makes the alphabetical order to give the priority to ethyl first and then we'll move on to the methyl one so this is how we have updated it and now let us move on to the next one that is this one this one would be very much easy for you to understand that is uh, it has been given as 4 methyl pent 2 ion and uh, the thing that we have to do is you have to consider the outermost star uh, that is uh, the suffix or the last surname for sorry 
we have to consider the suffix that is in this case is basically pentwine or basically it represents the parent alkene uh, or number of carbon atoms that it has that is here it, it is what it has spent making this to be called as a hydrocarbon that consists of at least uh, five carbon atoms in a straight chain and uh, we could see that methyl groups are present but let us focus, focus on this one that is spent to ion making this to be having basically five carbon atoms and let us number it first so therefore this one would be the first second third fourth and fifth carbon atom and this re, uh, number represents the position of the carbon carbon uh, tipper bond and that is right between carbon number two and carbon number three so therefore this is what we have and now the thing is we have to do is we have to uh, apply uh, or substitute the substituents or the groups that are being attached and that is basically methyl and the methyl is the one that is been attached on the group, uh, position number four or the fourth carbon uh, or the uh, fourth carbon atom so therefore this is the fourth carbon atom that we have and uh, on this we see methyl group will be attached like ch3 so the groups are been also been mentioned over this case and the only thing that has been left out is uh, we have to uh, uh, that is uh, substitute uh, the hydrogen atoms over here and so as to fulfill the uh, valency of the carbon atom so therefore it is this carbon requires three hydrogen atoms so i would write it as ch3 this carbon uh, need one hydrogen atom so as to fulfill and even this carbon don't need anything uh, nor uh, this carbon needs anything because the both are uh, satisfying by satisfied by the valencies of uh, that is four uh, bonds and talking about this carbon atom this carbon atom need three hydrogen atom and now this is how we have represented the structural formula of uh, that is four methyl pent to ion and uh, Yes, we could confirm it by the IUPC nomenclature for this one and it would be the same. And now let us move on to the next one that is this one. It has been given as 3-methyl-hex-1-in-4-ine. Uh, so how can we write this structure? So obviously we will focus on the suffix and in this case the name of the suffix or the parent chain that is uh, nothing but it ends with IN that means uh, we are talking about uh, basically an um, alkyne and in this case uh, the name is given as hex and this prefix of the whole name of the parent chain uh, is representing uh, it consists of six carbon atoms so therefore we will write over here as six carbon atoms one two three four five six six carbon atoms have been mentioned over here and uh, we will number it first so therefore we will number it as one two three four five six and this position that is uh, as you could see over here that is uh, in is been mentioned and before in there is a number and that number represents the position of the carbon carbon double bond why because in that is e and represents the carbon carbon double bond and that is on the position number one so therefore at position number one carbon carbon double bond is present and after that we could see that uh, on fourth position we could see uh, after that y n is been represented so this fourth is nothing but the carbon carbon triple bond which is present at carbon number four between carbon number four and carbon number five so therefore this is a carbon carbon triple bond that we have observed over here and now let us uh, move on that uh, which other groups that are been attached in this parent chain and that is nothing but methyl group and that methyl group is attached on the carbon number three so therefore we could write it here as that is on third position we have methyl group that is ch3 so now let us fulfill the hydrogen atom so therefore here it is the first one therefore it would be ch3 talking about this carbon atom this carbon atom is uh, forming two bonds so therefore the two more bonds are been remaining so that would be fulfilled by the introduction of the hydrogen so therefore h2 is what we have wrote here earlier this is forming three bonds this carbon that is one two three three bond are being formed so i have write over here 1H and talking about this carbon atom, even this carbon atom is forming three bonds. So, for fulfilling the valency of the carbon atom, we would write it over here as H. This carbon atom doesn't need any kind of uh, hydrogen so as to fulfill valency, neither this carbon atom. And now, this is the structure that we have. So, this is the structure of 3 methyl hex 1 uh, in 4 ion. And uh, the reason behind that is uh, we have uh, even this is a very correct uh, structure of uh, that is uh, because of the IUPAC nomenclature rule for alkynes so we could have uh, numbered it from this uh, way only that is from the right to left but we have numbered it from here 
uh, when it comes to nomenclature of uh, the structure so the reason behind that is uh, this is the first multiple bond that we get uh, and it is very much close to uh, that is this end that's the reason number have started from this case and uh, this is the group that is being uh, attached of the third carbon atom with respect to the number that we have given to uh, the carbon atoms and yes this is the uh, structure of the ipc name and now let us move on to the last one so the next one is given as that is three propyl pent one in four ion so what would be the structure and how could we write the structure of that so for that we have to suggest uh, that is uh, set the uh, parent chain and the parent chain consists of basically uh, five carbon atoms the reason behind that is as we have mentioned over here as pent this pent represents pentane in terms of an alkane that has basically um, that is five carbon atoms so therefore one two three four five five carbon atoms and uh, let us give the number to this so therefore this one with the first second third fourth fifth and talking about the position of the multiple bonds so the multiple bonds are uh, present at carbon number one and at carbon number four but carbon number one consists of in because this, this is represents that uh, in represents the carbon carbon double bond so therefore the carbon number one and carbon number two consist of a carbon carbon double bond while carbon number four uh, consists of a carbon carbon triple bond the reason behind that is because it ends with y and e which represents carbon carbon triple bond and is there any other group that is been yes yes uh, is there any other group that, be, uh, that has been attached to this thing uh, or this parent chain that is yes 3 propyl this 3 represents the position of the propyl and uh, so here we could write the propyl one so that could be written as CH2 CH2 CH3 and uh, that is the thing that we have did and uh, yes we have to fulfill the hydrogen atom so therefore here it will be only one H here there is no hydrogen that is been required here it has been H one H is been required and here it is also one H has been required and here it is two H has been required so this is the structure that we have uh, uh, made for uh, the IPC name that is been provided to us and uh, the next thing let us see that whether we are we have did in, in a correct manner or not so suppose if the number if the name is not been given to us and we have to give the IPC nomenclature to this one so we have to select the longest chain that could that should consist of carbon carbon uh, triple bond at least but in this uh, structure because there is not only carbon carbon triple bond there is also carbon carbon double bond so in fact we have to suggest this as the longest chain and this one would be the side chain even though having the more number of carbon atoms over here but the main IPC rule is uh, to select the longest chain that should contains at least carbon carbon triple bond and in that case the double bond is also the main thing that we have to concern because even that is a IPC rule of alkene in that we have studied and that is the thing that uh, we have suggested this to be the longest chain and this would, would be the side chain so making this to be called as three propyl and uh, since uh, and one more thing that i am going to talk about that uh, why the number has started from here because in the both end as you could see the multiple words have been present so from this end as we could see the carbon number one starts or from this end suppose if i would see then the carbon number one starts from here and on both the cases we could find a multiple bond but the ipc nomenclature rule was that uh, that if double bond is very much equidistant uh, and double bond and double bond if both are equidistant from both the ends and uh, the numbering should start from the double bond so that's the reason the numbering has started from here and this is what we have named it and uh, thank you friends for watching this video i hope you understood this video very clearly and you share this video with the friends so share this video and just don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you so much